Uh, this is the horse's song. Uh, it's also known as Richard's song. And uh, basically, the story goes, I was listening to an NPR show called Radio Lab, and uh, this particular episode was about memories and what memories are capable of. And uh, this particular segment of the episode was about repressed memories. And so it followed an artist named Joe Ando, and uh, he had stopped painting for a while, and then when he started painting again, he decided to just paint for himself. And he wasn't sure why exactly, but he started painting these horses. And uh, he just painted these horses over and over again. And uh, then he started painting a truck, and a field, and a fire. And eventually he started painting this woman. And after a few months, he realized that he'd been painting the same woman the whole time. And eventually realized that what he was painting was a repressed memory of a woman that he had fallen in love with when he was young back in Tulsa. And so he goes on to describe the memory and he says uh, him and this girl were laying naked in this truck in a field in Oklahoma and uh, you know just being young lovers and uh, at one point in time they looked up and in the window of the truck there was a horse right there just big as could be right in the window and uh, it startled him, you know, and uh, he mentions that they had split ways and a few years later had a reunion one night where he uh, took her out dancing and they had a great time. Then he dropped her off at her house and she invited him inside and he said no. Uh, and he said no because he was seeing somebody else at the time and was trying to do the right thing. Well, that night, she died in a fire, and uh, so he kind of was always stuck wondering, what if he had gone in, you know, would, would he have died also, or would he have put the fire out? Uh, well, that story of Joe Ando haunted me for weeks and weeks, and uh, what turned into months. And uh, fast forward six, six to eight weeks later, uh, I'm on a mountain doing some work and kind of having an anxiety attack. And my friend Richard, who's an amazing music lover and uh, one of the best, just one of the best people I've ever met in my life. Uh, my friend Richard said, Joey, what do you need to do? What, how can we help you breathe right now? Uh, and he insisted that I do whatever I need to do to to start, to start feeling all right. And uh, anybody that knows Richard knows that that's what he cared about, is his friends being happy. Um, well, I got my notebook out and channeled the story of Joe Ando and wrote the words to the horse's song out on a notebook. And the whole time, Richard was right there. And he was a, he was a part of that energy that was that combusted into the words meeting the, the paper. Uh, well, fast forward another three weeks, and I'm back in Kansas, and uh, having another anxiety attack, and wrote the music. And the music of the horse's song and the, the words to the horse's song finally met each other. And uh, what's really special about all that is that uh, and I use the word special loosely because I don't, it's, it's crazy, but the words and the music met each other and on that same day I found out that Richard died. And this is already a song about Joe Ando creating a landscape for his ghost to live in, the ghost that haunt him. And uh, Richard was an important part of the words meeting the paper. And I believe that he was there with me when the, the words met the banjo and when the music and the song came together. And so for that reason, I affectionately referred to this as Richard's song uh, because he was one of the most beautiful people anybody could have the honor of meeting. But um, that being said, enjoy horses. Thank you. the
horse's song. It's also known as Richard's song. Celebrate the lives of those whose fates are sealed. All I can do is paint this fire. 